Alrighty, now we get to the administrative commands on the router. They're pretty similar, but before we begin, before we begin, I want to show you something. This big old warning message. If you can't read it, let me just, what I have highlighted here. This is an actual PKT, you know, the Packet Tracer Labs, has an invalid extension, okay? So that means e-learning platforms are not permitting to upload as a resource to the to for you guys okay so you will not get the lab as a resource what i can and will will be the the syntax meaning a text file a part of the powerpoint decks that's what you'll get but you will not get uh is the actual packet tracer lab because as you can see here a message from web page enterprise land.pkt has an invalid extension the valid extensions are okay just so you know so my suggestion to you is that either you can slow down the slide pause it print screen it re-record it i don't know do what you got to do all right so you can go ahead and mimic the lab redo yourself as i have it okay because it is a video, you can't pause it, you know. Okay, but just so you be aware that this is the reason I've never uploaded a lab to any e-learning platforms because they're not permitted. Now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into it. We know what we need to do, right? Let's go into a router. So I'm gonna sit down again. All right, let's open up our handy dandy lab. Let's go into our router. Let's put it right here. Let's go down. And we'll bring it all the way out to here. Let's just bring it all the way to the end. Then you can see what you can see. I think you can see everything. All right, so again, we go enable. Conf T. Short for config T. Post name, R1. Make it simple. Uh, enable. Enable. Password. Cisco. Enable. Secret student, nothing different, right? Same thing we've been doing. Service, password, hyphen, oops. No, service, password, yeah, hyphen, encryption. Where's my brain? Banner, MOTD, the pound sign. Welcome. Again, I don't feel like typing anything else. It's not a welcome message, I can guarantee you. It's like, hey, get out of here. You don't belong here. All right, uh, let's do the DNS, IP, domain, hyphen lookup. And again, this is just to show you what the command looks like. It's, it's already on by default. You really, some people turn it off. IP, domain, hyphen name, and that's going to be cisco.com. What did I do? IP, domain, name. I don't have to put a, uh, I'll put an equal sign. Wow, okay, IP domain name, cisco.com. And that's what that means. When you see a little sign, you made a mistake right there. Okay, so you don't have to freak out. And then IP name hyphen server, and that's 172.31.10.34, okay. Now let's do the SSH, IP, SSH, question mark, timeout, 120 seconds, up arrow, IP, SSH, authentication retries, that's going to be three. One of the things that we forgot to do uh, is the crypto key generate RSA. And then I'm just gonna leave it at 512. Obviously, you can change it, make it higher, but the higher encryption, the worse it is. I forgot to encrypt it in the switch. We can do that later. No big deal. Uh, just go in there and put in the encryption. Uh, so now we configure that portion for SSH because that's what we want. Then we go into the line con zero. Oh, wait a minute. Let's create the username. Username, uh, LD is privilege, tab that out. And you can see the SSH comes up privilege. 15 administrative privileges, obviously. Password zero. Cisco, because it's going to be in plain text. 
because I got service password of encryption that's going to encrypt everything. Now I'm going to go line con zero password Cisco. Whoops, password Cisco. Login local. Okay, what does it say? You can only use the command no login authentication. What? Pat, what? Okay, it's going crazy. Line con zero. Password. Cisco. Login. Local. Really? Okay. So, all right. Okay, so we won't do login local. I guess I got to enable AAA, which we will anyway, uh, later on in the, in the thing. Then we'll just do login. Synchronous. So that means I must type login, synchronous, and exec hyphen. I'm out. Zero minutes, zero seconds. Okay. And then we go to our line, VTY, zero space four. Oh, that's where I do it. Login. No, I don't know. Let's see if it does it on the VTY lines. Login, local. Yep, sure does. Okay. Uh, and then we just do login, synchronous, because we'll be configuring AAA authentication later anyway, so we'll just wait till then. And then uh, exec hyphen timeout zero space zero, and then do WR, and then we'll do do show start. Oh no, I forgot transport input. I'm in the line VTY still, right? Yes, I am. Transport input SSH, okay? Do WR. All right, so we've configured everything. Do show start. We can take it except for now I have to do AAA authentication on this particular router because the new version of the packet tracer for some reason doesn't like it when I put that there. The switch says it's cool, but the router says, no, it's not cool. I'm like, all right, no problem. All right, but you can see in the router, you have your banners. Oh, because I have radius configured in here. Okay, so that's the reason why. Exit. No, why is radius configured on there? No radius. I'm going to just do no. And then I'm going to copy this. Copy. Paste. Okay, let's see if we'll do it now. And, no, not int. Line VTY zero space uh, four. Login local. Uh, I still, I probably have AAA, so I do no AAA and all that good stuff. I might even worry about it. All right, control C. WR or copy run start, which is what you got to do. And that is your basic administration. Again, guys and gals, uh, pause the video, just take a screenshot of it so you can see the lab. And I'll, uh, and since we're going to be using the same lab over and over and over again, it's just one lab. And I'll leave it there for a little bit so you can see it, so you can screenshot it. And I'll explain it to you because now we're going to start configuring a whole bunch of other stuff. This is just basic administrative tasks. So you really don't have to worry about it much, okay? So pretty simple. We did console passwords, privilege mode passwords, telnet passwords. Now the reason we were getting that warning was because I guess I was playing around before, and I uh, I actually configured radius on there, so it's conflicting with each other. So it won't let me do login local. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, I'll take that out. Uh, but anyway, so that's it. This is your commands, and we did everything, including the other commands, right? Which is the DNS and the banner. But we'll do a lot more commands later on as we get going into the lab. I'll see you in the next.